Alright guys, so today I'm going to be doing a cha-ching video. We are on cha-ching number 124. So let's just get straight into it. I feel like it's been a little while since I've done a cha-ching. So the first thing that I have was this little cat with a snowman these were by a company called smallwood and eric and i had won like a tray full of these smallwood cats at an auction so i did sell a lot of them already but i do still have a couple left this one here sold for 29 dollars and 99 cents uh, the next thing i have is uh for a lot of two miniature cats these were by someone named diane fox these also came from an auction and they very well might have been on the same tray as these small wood cats were that's what i'm thinking and <laughs> that's where they were um and those sold for 19 dollars and 99 cents I also sold a vintage Superman board game. This was from 1954. It was complete in really nice condition. Eric and I again won this at an auction. This did take a while to sell, but it's one of those pieces where obviously you're just looking for the right buyer to come along and sometimes it just takes a while <laughs> for the right buyer to come along, but that did sell for $155. Um, let's see, we also sold a lot of four glass sunflowers. So these were just stemmed glass um, sunflower flowers. Those sold for $49.99. Those also came from an auction. Um, and there was like a whole little kind of bundle of these in various, various types of flowers. So that's where those came from. Uh, the next one, two, three, four. Four items were more of the small wood cat, and there was someone who purchased all four of these. Um, they actually collected small wood cats. Like they sent me a picture of their collection. It was just insane. I'm not sure if I can still find that in my messages but they had a very large collection. So the first one that they purchased was this cat with a mouse that sold for $29.99. The next one was like a hanging um, platter that sold for $29.99. Uh, the next one was titled Kitten Caboodle. This one was probably the coolest piece out of all of the small wood cats, in my opinion. Um, and I think other people felt the same way because that one did end up selling for $85. And then the last one she purchased was a cat in a trunk. That's over $19.99. Um, next item I sold was a pair of high heel shoes. These were by a company called J. Renee. Those sold for $59.99. I already sold these once before, but they were returned because they ended up not fitting the person who originally purchased them. So these were like a return that was relisted and then eventually sold again. So sometimes that happens. Um, depending on a return, obviously if it's a return like that of something not fitting you can easily relist the item it's obviously different if you get a return because something ended up being broken or something along those lines um here we have another small wood cat piece this was actually a finial that sold for $19.99 also sold a sega master system adapter card for $18.95 Pretty sure this came with some stuff, like some video game related stuff that Eric had won at an auction. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, and he won it with actually this, which was the Sega Master System console that sold for $135. So it's kind of like a little bit of a lot there that we won um, at the auction. Next item also came from an auction. This I think was the same day I had won those small wood cats. There was a tray full of these stone um, birds and I think there were some ducks in there too. And these were all made in Peru. So this here was a bird that sold for $19.99. I had quite a tray full of those. So you'll probably see more of them in upcoming cha-chings. 
Um, actually, no, there, here's another one. This was another Peru, made in Peru stone bird that sold for $22.99. This next item was a vintage Little Kittles play set of Alice in Wonderland. It came with the Alice doll as well as the White Rabbit um, that sold for $149.99 and that also was something that I won at an auction. I also sold a tailor-made driver golf tool. Eric picked this up at a yard sale. I think he paid like a quarter or 50 cents for it and that sold for $12.99. We also sold a lot of five vintage Bresler's ice cream cups. So we won these at an auction. I'm talking bags full of these vintage, obviously unused ice cream cups. I guess maybe someone had owned an ice cream shop or something like that. And these were just like leftover stock essentially and I couldn't really find anything when I looked them up prior to bidding on them at the auction but I was like you know what they're older it's an advertising type piece like there's so many people out there who you know might collect vintage ice cream related stuff or just vintage advertising in general so I was like Eric if they don't go for much just take them and oh my gosh so we got I'm telling you guys it's like a ton some of them sold but we still have a lot left so this was for a lot of five that's how we've been selling them so a lot of five cups <laughs> they sold for nine dollars and 99 cents but I think we were paying like a dollar for these like really large bags full so slow moving but we didn't really have a whole lot of money obviously in them so it's okay uh, next we have a bronze chicken sculpture. Um, this we won at an auction. I was kind of blown away by how much it was worth when I looked it up. Sold for $469, which is just absolutely insane to me. Uh, but we did win that at an auction. I'm pretty sure we probably paid around, I want to say $80, $70 or $80 for it. So not like a lot, but you know, we did pay a little bit more for it, but sold it for a really amazing amount. Uh, let's see, I sold a 1976 Toy Works Dapper Cat plush. You guys remember that cat used to sit behind me on my vanity for the longest time. I ended up listing him. He sold for $15.99. I had originally picked him up at a yard sale, so I probably paid a dollar or less for him. I sold a pair of Birkenstock floral sandals for $69.99. These came from an auction. At one point, Eric and I won a bunch of Birkenstock sandals at an auction. Um, and I'm pretty sure I sold every pair except for maybe one or two, I want to say. Uh, we sold a five-piece set of these die-cast um, Road Champs trucks. Those sold for $34.99. Those came from an auction as well. Next was a lot of two vintage 80s erasers shaped like lipsticks. They were in like lipstick shaped tubes. There are people out there that collect vintage erasers. These didn't sell for a whole lot, $9.99, but I love picking up like vintage nostalgia from my childhood. And obviously there's people out there who are looking to purchase those types of things. So those came from a yard sale and I'd say I paid a quarter or 50 cents for them. Sold a lot of two Waterford crystal vases. These were just smaller vases. Those sold for $19.99. And they probably came with like in a box lot of stuff that I had won at an auction. I also sold this set of Pier One. It was a teapot with the sugar and creamer. Uh, that sold for $59.99. That came from a yard sale, and I think I paid about $10 for that. I also sold a Brooklyn Library book called The Store. That sold for $22.99, and if you guys have been watching my teaching, um, sold a bunch of the Franklin Library uh, books. 
I also sold a Left In Valentine's Day Girl for $19.99. I'm pretty sure she came from a fill -a bag rummage sale is what I want to say. I also sold a Folk Art Cow. This was signed Duffy. It came from a auction that sold for $49.99. I also sold a Bible. This was a study Bible um, for $22.99 that came from a yard sale, and I'd say we paid $1 for that. Next was a Lilo and Stitch shot glass that sold for $12.99, and that came from a yard sale. I also sold a pair of sandals. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> those sold for $29.99 and those came from a yard sale. I'd say I paid two bucks for those. I also sold a blue and white cat little trinket plate for $13.99 and again probably yard sale and more than likely like a dollar. Next was an antique brass domed bird cage that sold for $99.99. That came from an auction and I'd say we paid about 20, 20 ish dollars for it, maybe 25. Um, I sold a set of vintage mini silver glass ball ornaments for $19.99. I had one, like kind of a couple boxes of these. Um, the boxes weren't all complete. This one was complete. Um, won those at an auction and I actually still have a couple more to list. But like I said, not all of the boxes were complete. I also sold a Monster High Draculara doll for $20.49. She probably came out of that Monster High bin of dolls that I got at a yard sale. I sold a set of two Left In Mini Santa Face mugs for $26. Probably came from a yard sale. I have so many. You saw in my vintage Christmas unboxing, I, I have like a bunch of ceramic Santa Face mugs. I think I even actually have, and I haven't listed yet, like a box, like a set of them in the original box. Gotta find those and list those before Christmas. Um, let's see, the next three items that go to a subscriber named Terry. She purchased three of my Catherine Lily White Halloween ornaments. The first one was of a candy corn that sold for $9.99. She also purchased a witch with a broom that sold for $9.99. And the last one was the Black Cat Family that also sold for $9.99. And those came from, I always say like a yard sale, but it was kind of like a lady's shop that she was selling like the contents of. I sold a Conair curling iron. This was brand new for $19.99. That came on a tray of some stuff I won at an auction. I also sold a coach wallet for $39.99. Probably came from a yard sale. The next two items went to a subscriber named Joy. She purchased a Blanco Crackle Blue vase for $19.99. Picked that up at a yard sale. I want to say I paid three or four dollars for it. Um, and she also purchased a Delft uh, fish tray also for $19.99 that also came from a yard sale and I think I paid a dollar for that one. Um, I sold another Catherine Lily White Halloween ornament. This one was a cat and pumpkin that sold for $12.99. This next item was a vintage Ralph Lauren polo soap on a rope. <laughs> so the vintage Ralph Lauren polo scent is very sought after. Um, so obviously like the colognes and stuff sell really, really well. Um, this here was for the soap. Obviously it was brand new in the box that sold for $99.99. I actually won that <laughs> on whatnot. Um, and I'd say I paid less than $20 for it. I'm like, I don't purchase a whole lot of stuff on whatnot. It just depends on, you know, if I have time to sit down and watch some auctions. Um, 
but I have purchased stuff on whatnot and have flipped it on eBay for very good money. So it's definitely a good place to source if you're a reseller. Um, but it does take a lot of time because, you know, you just never know sometimes what people are going to show. So you have to be in that specific room at that specific moment to potentially win that specific item you know what i mean so it's a little bit time consuming of a of a process but sometimes when i just am sitting around and i'm thinking about watching tv sometimes i'll just watch a whatnot show just in case there's something that comes up that you know i want either for me or to resell um but yeah just throwing it out there it is it can be i should say it can be a good place to source um, let's see, I have a Lennox hook trinket box that sold for $59.99. This came from a yard sale and I'm pretty sure we paid about $7 for it. Um, next was a Herond vase that sold for $19.99 and that was with some other stuff that I had won at an auction. Um, I also sold a three-wheel studio pottery vase for $219.99. Won that at an auction, and I'd say we paid about $60 for that one. Um, I also sold a lot of two Nick Chave Elixir Thickening Lotions. These were like hair care items. Those sold for $39.98 because they sold two and those came from like a beauty tray that I won at an auction. Also sold a 1980, um, these were like rubber pieces of play food. That's over $12.99 and those actually belonged to my aunt. I had some of those too. Well, I say my aunt, they were my cousins. Um, but I actually had some of those too. They were so fun because they were like made of like a rubbery material. So some of them were kind of like realistic looking. Um, and then the last thing I have went to a subscriber named Dina. She purchased a vase, um, that cat shaped vase. It was a Cats by Nina vase. I picked this up at a fill -a bag rummage sale and that sold for $19.99. So that is everything for this cha-ching. So let's discuss. Um, I My sales are actually up, hallelujah, actually up 3.8% um, last 31 days. So there is some, some sunlight here <laughs> that's been happening because I feel like for the past couple of cha-chings I've been doing, like my numbers have been down. Um, so, but I have had a couple of like really good sales, um, the, the past couple of weeks, just, was it today or yesterday? I sold that really large Jim Shore cat that I picked up at a yard sale. If you guys remember that, that finally did, um, sell the other day. So people are on the hunt for Halloween stuff right now. I mean, I know summer just started, but you're probably already seeing Halloween stuff in stores and things like that. So just keep that in mind as far as like picking up things to, to list. I mean, Halloween will obviously be here before you know it. Um, so yeah, I think sales are kind of starting to, to, um, you know, pick back up a little bit. Um, as far as yard sales go, it's been really like rainy and dreary here. Uh, so we didn't, Eric and I did not go yard sailing today. We went yesterday. We got a decent amount of really good stuff and we decided to skip today because it's just, just really rainy and dreary. It's supposed to be that way like all week. Um, but there is a community yard sale. I think that we're going to go to tomorrow. Um, but again, like it's going to be rainy. So it's always hard to say how many people are actually going to be having yard sales. Cause like if you don't have a garage, then you pretty much are, probably aren't going to be having a yard sale. So we didn't go today, but you know, some days I think are like better than others when it comes to yard sales. And I feel like if we have a good day, the one day, I feel like the next day is just not so good. <laughs> so we had the good day yesterday. So we decided to stay in today. Um, but anyway, as far as 
as eBay goes. I have been feeling like I've been getting an uptick of returns and I feel like it's been a while since that happened. Um, I feel like returns kind of come in spurts, I want to say. Like you'll get one and then you'll get another one and another one practically like back to back. I feel like it always comes in threes. Um, so that has been happening. Um, but I feel like it's been a while since I had a return. So with returns, it's what it is. I, I just say it is what it is. I know some people kind of get hung up on the fact of returns and get upset and things like that, but you can't let it get to you because it's just a fact of doing business. You're gonna have returns. Um, so it's just best to accept them. If it's something you can relist, like I was saying about the shoes, then just relist it for the next person to come along and buy it. And then obviously if it's something that, you know, arrived broken or, you know, there was an issue of some kind, you just write it off as a loss. Like it's, it's just going to happen kind of thing. You have no control over it. So just dust it right off your shoulders because it's okay. <laughs> I know at first, like when I first started selling on eBay, it used to bug me a lot. And like, it would just kind of like damper your mood and you're like, oh gosh, I have a return. You know what I mean? And it just kind of would get to you. At least it did me. Um, but I'm pretty well over that. I, if I get one, I get one and it is what it is. So, but speaking of returns, so I got one. Um, this was semi-recently. I had sold this Dooney and Burke wallet. Um, this is also something that I had won on a whatnot show. Um, so this was brand new with the tags when I sold it and sent it out. This is how I got it back. Tags cut off of it. So now I can't relist it as brand new with the tags. So that's disheartening. I hate when stuff like that happens because obviously I did not receive it back in the same condition that I sent it out in and there's nothing I can do about it. So, I mean, it's not like it's all stained up and used or anything like that. So when I do relist this again, I'll just have to relist it as like new without tags. I mean, I could include the tag with it, but you know, it is what it is. Um, so, but that's kind of like a thing that does, you know, get not necessarily get under your skin, but it's just a little disheartening when stuff like that happens because the reason that they even returned it was that they didn't like it or something like that but it's like why would you take the tag off of it I don't know whatever but it's just one of those things <laughs> so you have to let me know down in the comments um you know if you ever had a return that was kind of like a bogus type thing like you're just kind of like what why you know what I mean that's kind of how this is like why would you take the tag off if you, it's not something that you know if you open it up and you're like oh I don't like this wallet like why would you take the tag off of it I don't know enough of that <laughs> um but that's pretty much everything that I have really I think um to talk about eBay um Let's see. Oh, Amelia went to the groomer yesterday. So I'll insert a picture. <laughs> the groomer that we take her to always takes pictures of the animal after they're done with their grooming. So that's a really nice, it's like a free thing. So it's just a really nice thing that they do um, just as like a little like freebie for, for the customer. So I'm really appreciative that, you know, a groomer does something like that. Um, so we paid a little extra for her to get like a spa package. I always like doing that every once in a while. So it's basically like, um, you have like a scented, you can pick like your scented option of like the shampoo and conditioner and then they do like a breath freshening and like a, um, like a facial, like a blueberry facial and <laughs> I get to pick out her bow and she hates bows, but it's pretty much just for that picture and then when I pick her up I do take the bow out because she doesn't she doesn't like them 
but you know I want her to look cute in her picture so <laughs> I like when she has a bow in her hair um and then I tried to go get my hair cut like while she was getting hers but um they just couldn't get me in and out at like the time I would need to like go pick her up so hopefully maybe next week I'll try again because I need to get my own haircut it's been a while since I got my haircut and it's getting super long and starting to get on my nerves I like my hair long but you know it's just one of those things um so and then like I said because I just like to chit chat after my chitching videos like I said Eric and I went yard tailing yesterday and some of the good scores um, we picked up, I got a bunch of these like um, artisan made mohair teddy bears. Um, they're by someone named Sharon Barron, like not bear, like teddy bear, but B-A-R-R-O-N, I want to say. Anyway, I paid like $25 a piece for these bears. And the lady said, like, she originally paid, like, upwards of $300 a piece for the bears. Um, so they're definitely, like, a valuable, like, a valuable teddy bear. Like, handmade, mohair, jointed, glass eyes, that type of thing. Really awesome teddy bears. I'm contemplating on keeping one for myself because I absolutely love them. Uh, but I did list one today, and I think it has two watchers already. So I'm hoping for, like, you know good good sales there um I'm trying to think like if there was anything else of just spectacularness that we had found yesterday but I think it was the bears I think it was the bears that was our best find of the day so hopefully we didn't miss too much today I mean I'm sure we did but you know I have so much stuff to list missing one day of yard sailing is not going to put a dent in the, the the pile of, of stuff that I can list so it's okay <laughs> um but yeah let me know if you have been finding anything good while out at yard sales or thrift stores or wherever you do go to source so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time